Hey, Tuesday means storybook assembly. Let's bring the storybook in. Bring it in. I've got this beautiful book. It's called Look Up. Uh, it's got a sticker on it saying that it won the Waterstones Children's Book Prize 2020. Well, at least it did. It got on the shortlist. I don't know if it's going to win or not, but I think it's terrific. It's about this little girl. This little girl here. Her name is Rocket. And she's got big dreams. So have you, I hope. Let me read you this story about Rocket, what she gets up to. Maybe there'll be time for a chat at the end. Look Up by Nathan Bryan, illustrated by Dapo Adiola. There she is, there's Rocket, with a gappy tooth, ready to head into the stars. And let's find out about her story. Here they are running around. What's she got there? What's she doing? She's running around. She Oh, she's made a cardboard box into a rocket and put bunting on behind and she's run along as fast as she can. That's a fun thing to do. Maybe you'll get time to do that in your summer holidays. Here she is. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and look up at the stars. Mum tells me that I never stop looking up at my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says that I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. But Mum says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the very day I was born. There's Mum doing her hair. Rocket doesn't want to sit still for that, does she? All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space traveller who's ever lived. Just like Mae Jameson, the first African-American woman in space. Did you know Mae Jameson went into orbit around Earth in the space shuttle Endeavour, although she's scared of heights? I'm totally prepared. I have defied gravity and captured rare and exotic life forms and built a ship to the stars for today's mission i'm going to see something incredible the phoenix meteor shower come and see the phoenix meteor shower with me tonight meet at my house at 7 o'clock PM. I want everyone to see it with me. So I've made flyers to hand out. That's a flyer. It's a kind of like a little leaflet that you can give to people so they got the information. Look, these guys are all going to come and see it, aren't they? Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower. But first we have to go to the supermarket. While he's looking for the milk, I will be trying to find astronaut food. Did you know meteor showers happen when the Earth moves through a trail of dust left by a comet? Poor Jamal. Don't think he's very interested. Did you know most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand? Did you know meteors are just bits of dust burning up in the atmosphere? Did you know the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark and with no clouds? In the supermarket... When Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone and I say, Tonight, come and witness the amazing Phoenix meteor shower. And everyone looks up. Kathy takes her microphone back as I hand out my flyers to the other people in the queue. I think Jamal might be a tiny bit cross with me. The Phoenix Meteor Shower will come soon. We'd better drop off the shopping and get to the park fast. Oops. <laughs> that wouldn't have happened if he just looked up. Now Jamal is even more cross with me. He says he won't take me to the park anymore. But when we get home, Mum saves the day. Come on, Jamal, she says. Put that phone down and take your little sister to the park. 
Yes! I jump up and I do my famous victory dance around the house. Yeah! Mm, Jamal's not happy. I grab my jetpack rucksack, but Jamal is still glued to his game. Wait till I've completed the level, Rocket, he grumbles. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wowzers! Everyone's here and they're all holding my flyers. To the park! I yell at the top of my lungs. We are all so excited. My neck is aching from staring up into the night sky, but I won't stop. I can't miss it. Suddenly, the birds... Suddenly the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. Everybody points their, mic their telescopes and their binoculars up at the sky. I think I see one. But it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and wait and wait. It must be nearly time for the park to close. One by one, people start to go home. Maybe the phoenix meteor shower was just a myth. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone's upset at me for wasting their time. I've never, ever felt this sad before. And Jamal looks at me for the first time today. It feels like the first time ever. I've turned my phone off, sis, he says. I'm sorry for making you wait in the freezing cold for nothing, Jamal. Let's go home. Suddenly, there's a big, bright light in the sky. Look up! The Phoenix Meteor Shower. I'm speechless, Jamal says. He pulls out his flask gives me a warm cup of hot chocolate. Yummy. And we both sit on the hill watching meteors zoom across the sky. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know one day I'm going to have a meteor shower named after me? That's the end of the story there. That there... I think he's giving her a shoulder ride home. She's had a great evening. He's back on his phone, but you know, he does love her, I think. So that's Look Up. It was written by Nathan Bryan and illustrated by Dapo Adiola, who designed the character. It's like a print of that. Do you know what? It is at the moment. If you look outside when it's dark, you have to wait up really late for it to be dark, so you might not be allowed to. But if you like, wait till it's really dark, there's a comet in the sky at the moment. You look to the northern horizon, it's a wonderful thing to see. And uh, the meteor shower in the book is, is wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful, the Phoenix meteor shower. But even more wonderful than that, even more wonderful than specks of space dust burning up in our atmosphere, even more special than that. It's Brother Jamal giving Rocket his time and taking his care with her, making sure she didn't miss out on seeing the thing that was so special to her. I loved it. There you go. What a lovely book. It's published by published by Puffin. And let's hope it does win that prize because I think it's a beautiful book. I hope you've enjoyed it. And who knows, maybe we'll be doing more sorry book assemblies when we get back in September. But until then, have a wonderful holiday. Look after each other. Make it special in whatever way you can. And I will see you in September. See you, everybody. Bye.